Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of a Chefman air fryer with space saving basket. This is an oil free hot air fryer with a dishwasher safe basket. Has a 30 minute timer and auto shut off. This right here is the knob that you're going to turn, which turns the unit on. There's the 30 minutes. The green light here is telling you that it's on. When it reaches temperature, one of these lights is going to go off. We're going to test that with some different items we're going to cook. This is a 3.5 liter basket. We're going to show that in a second. Now this temperature control right here, it has calibration in Fahrenheit. And those from about 180 degrees to 390 degrees. Here it shows 400. 175 degrees. Fully adjustable temperature, which is really nice. This allows cooking and frying using only 20% of the oil that you normally use. You can brush the oil on or spray it on. We're going to try that method. It's also space saving, and you got to admit it's very high tech looking. Almost looks like a little robot. I really like the way it looks. So you have a manual temperature control and a 30 minute timer as I mentioned. And what's nice about this is that it's an auto shut off so that you can't uh, just leave it on because it'll turn off after 30 minutes whether or not you have food in there or not. So that's a nice safety feature. And the basket is detachable, we're going to show that. And it's also cool to the touch the whole unit. So there's insulation behind this high temperature plastic. So when you buy this product, you gain access to the Club Chefman, where you can get recipes and videos and cookbooks. And like I showed, and like I mentioned, this is very futuristic air technology. Now it comes with a simple basic frying skinny book, which has all kinds of neat pictures and recipes. And the complete manual tells you how to use the unit with diagrams and also gives you some basic timing charts for different food groups to help you out. Now, before we test this out, you want to remove this label and we're going to show the basket now. Now we're going to clean this basket out and make sure that's thoroughly dry. Then we're going to test it. So we're going to remove that label, clean this and come back and test this. I'm going to show you what I'm going to try it on three different food items. So I wanted to show you that this basket comes right out of the center and this is all dishwasher safe to clean. I also want to point out that the electronics in here is ETL certified and that's a lab like UL that has actually been around longer than UL. It was started by Thomas Edison. So all the electronics in here is rated by ETL which means that the control mechanism, the control circuitry is all very reliable and have been safety tested to very high standards. Here's what I'm going to be trying to cook. I have some homemade french fries, some egg rolls, and this is eggplant slices that have some breading on them. Now, instead of brushing on oil, I'm going to do it a little bit lazier. I'm going to use spray oil and see how that works. And before I do that, I'm going to turn the unit on. I have all the basket clean and ready. And I'm going to preheat it without any oil or anything in there. Make sure that the door is closed. And I'm going to preheat it. Let it go for five minutes. And I'm going to put the temperature down about 350 degrees right there. And I'm just going to let it preheat before I try some of these items out. So as this is preheating, I want to show and demonstrate something. The outside is not hot. So I'm using a temperature gauge right here. See right on the black there, it's just 79 degrees. Only 82 degrees right on the, on the plastic of the tray opening section. That's pretty amazing. So even though this thing is getting hot, it's very cool on the outside. Now I just noticed that the green LED clicked on. 
which means that it reached 370 degrees already. It was just that fast. Now I'm just going to try and use some spray oil on these french fries. Instead of using a lot of actual oil, you could use olive oil. Maybe use a tablespoon and a half for this amount. It's up to you. Now I also want to point out that when you open this up, the unit shuts down for safety. So we're going to take these and we're going to throw them right in there, just like that. And we're going to move them around so they're all relatively flat. And we're going to turn the unit back out by putting it back in and pushing forward. And we're going to keep it at the same temperature. And we're going to let it, let it do its thing. I want to also point out that by putting the potatoes in there, the light came back on because the thermostat control sensed that something lowered the temperature, made it colder. So then this compensated with the electronics to kick the coils back up and raise the temperature. And this has been going on for three minutes and it's still very cool to the touch. Very neat. So it's been running for about six minutes. Let's take a look at it. And look at that, they're already, they're already brown. Now if you'd like, you could flip these, or just, I'm a little lazy, so I'm just going to shake them a little bit, get some of them to flip. And then I'm going to put it back in here, finish it off, and we're going to see how they come out and taste them. Okay, so it's been about 12 minutes. 12 minutes or so and let's check it out look at that those are beautiful looking french fries look how even it heated them up very nice look at that burning my finger but there's like virtually no oil look at the steam coming out of that french fry so there's no oil on this really no calories and you can see it's crispy and it's steamed on the inside. Look at that. And it tastes really good. I wanted to point something out that this is a polarized, this is a polarized standard US plug. Make sure you have a 15 amp line on here and don't defeat this. The purpose of this is to make you plug this in only one way on your outlet. The next thing I'm gonna try is just two egg rolls. And I'm going to use the spray oil again, just to coat it. So that's minimal oil on there. Put that in there like that. Set it on the basket. And let's put this in here. And we're going to keep it at the same 300 and 60 degrees approximately and we're gonna the timers at 10 minutes left we're just gonna increase the timer here and we're gonna let this run and see how the egg rolls do so while this is cooking I want to point something out when you open the drawer just hold it in front of the side and avoid touching the back area right here because this is hot I put my hand there quickly and that didn't feel too good but everything else on here is cool to the touch. So keep that in mind when you're using this. Now I have the egg rolls in here. Let's just check them out. I think they're finished because they got a light brown color to them. And egg rolls are, egg rolls are typically hard to cook because of that thin outer shell on them. But they look nice. I just used spray oil as I showed and uh, a nice brown color on them. Now it's kind of hot, I don't want to burn my hand, but let's take a look. Oh, look at that, it's totally crunchy. I don't want to burn my hand, so I'm going to take, I'm going to get a knife and cut this. Look at that. So you can see how crunchy that got. And the inside is moist, look at the steam coming out of that. 
Holy great. We taste it right here. Tastes like a healthy egg roll. Now the final thing I'm going to try is the eggplant. Again, I'm just going to use spray oil. And we're going to put it in the Schuffman air fryer. And we're going to place the tray back in. And set the timer a little more. Keep it at the same temperature. And we'll see how this comes out. So the eggplant has been going for about 9-10 minutes. Now let's take a look at it. And look at that. All nice and brown. And crispy and hot. So here they are in a bowl, and let's take a look at them. You can see it's very uniform. It's got heat and crunchiness all the way around it, which is exactly what you want. Let me get a knife and let me, let me cut one of these open. Still very hot. And there you can see the steam coming off it. And look at the inside. It's cooked and the outside has got a nice crunch to it. Very delicious. So what's my overall opinion about the Shuffman Air Fryer with Space Saving Basket? Well, I demonstrated three different, very different types of food products. French fries, egg rolls, and pieces of eggplant with batter on them. And you can see it worked for all three of them. This is saving a lot of calories and it's very fast. It's about one third the time of putting it in the oven. And even my toaster oven isn't as fast as this. So I think this is a really cool product. It's very high tech looking. It doesn't take up a lot of space. And I think you're gonna use this thing a lot. So I'm gonna give this a full five star rating on my channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.